Benson, I need to speak with you. Meet me in your office right away. I you, sir, can Francis, wait. But I have to debrief Sarah first. I suppose you could, or you could hear what I have to say and see if that doesn't change things. Pritchard out. Yeah, whatever. I can't believe it, Jensen. An internment camp smack dab in the middle of Detroit. Shit. Oh, Malik, you're supposed to be more interested in that. I'm run low on ammo for my beautiful 10 millimeter pistol. You know, we're gonna talk to Pritchard first. And we're gonna lag first. It's not only the pro odds who might want to get a taggart, but the ones against them too. You're saying that pro-human activists might see this visit as treachery? I'm just saying anything is possible, so keep your eyes out for suspicious characters. Right. No one relaxes until Tiger and his entourage are out of the building. Alright, Pritchard. You're right here anyway. What do you want? As much as I hate to admit it, I need your help. That signal you shut down in DRB territory. It's been active for almost a year. You're telling me someone outside this company has had access to our network since before the first attack? I've detected intrusions before and shut them down swiftly every time. But whoever designed this particular algorithm is good. Very good. You've told Sarah? See, here's the thing. The intrusions were possible because of a backdoor access into our security system that I never even knew existed. The one Sanders team used to get inside our plant. I've worked here for seven years, Jensen, and this is the first time I've seen that particular access route. David Sarif created it, specifically to bypass the firewall. He's hiding something, and I think you should find out what it is. Why me? Because, as far as I can tell, Sarif created that access, and was streaming a lot of data through it, shortly after your ex-girlfriend suggested he hire you. Ah, delicious water. Okay, so... I can do that. Time for some more delicious water while we go upstairs. That probably sounds really loud. I'm going to shoot all of you in the face. Excuse me. Mr. Jensen, isn't it? Sir, you have that charity dinner? In a moment, Isaiah. I was hoping I might run into you, Mr. Jensen. Bill Taggart. The founder of the Humanity Front. I know who you are. Yes. Yes, I imagine you do. As David Sarah's top security man, I imagine you have quite the file on me. But I assure you, Mr. Jensen, I am... Devastated. Your nose is low res. Really? I do not support what you and your company are doing to mankind. I believe it's extremely dangerous. But abolishing human enhancement technologies will only be achieved through legal means. I'll keep that in mind. This is your first day back since the accident Excuse six me. months ago, isn't it? Sir, we have to go. What happened to me was no accident. Ah, oh, my mistake. But it must have been stressful facing down a second incident so soon. I imagine it brought back all kinds of unpleasant memories. Let's see. Appreciate your concern. Uh, you know, he's trying to be a nice guy. I appreciate I your concern, Mr. Taggart. But it was nothing I couldn't handle. I'm a psychologist, Mr. Jensen. I know when a man is hiding behind words. The flesh may heal, but the mind is not always so resilient. You might want to keep that in mind. Now, if you'll be so kind as to excuse me. No. I'm curious stay. about something, Mr. Taggart. What is it you hope to accomplish by coming here tonight? I would think that would be obvious. Your company has been viciously targeted. The violence and bloodshed that's occurred, it, it must be stopped. But I'm afraid it won't be until men of wisdom and understanding come to an agreement. About what? About the future, Mr. Jensen. This enhancement technology threatens to change the course of human evolution, to redefine what it even means to be human. 
You think governments can afford to let that go unregulated? You can't stop progress, Mr. Taggart. Perhaps not. But neither can we afford to sit by and watch it happen on its own. Not when we have the ability, the collective will, and foresight to influence it. I see. Thank you for illuminating me. Anytime. Go away. Hi, Athena. You've been at this company a long time. I hope that's not a comment about my age. <laughs> no. But I know nothing gets by you. If Sarif had done something that could compromise us... Mr. Sarif has only the best interests of this company in mind, Adam. I'm not questioning that. Aren't you? I've been here since the beginning. I've seen how he built this up from nothing. He cares for his people. He truly believes what we're doing is important. And he would never do anything to jeopardize it. I shouldn't have brought it up. No, you shouldn't have. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm busy. Another person to add to the either kill or punch in the face list. Also you. Can I talk to you? You're Taggart's aide, aren't you? Dr. Isaiah Sandoval, isn't it? No need to play ignorant, Mr. Jensen. I am quite sure you have a file on me that's as thick as the one you have on Mr. Taggart. You're an outspoken activist in your own right, Dr. Sandoval. When you have seen the things that I have, you find you have no choice but to stand up and be counted. Frankly, I am surprised an ex-cop like yourself isn't more disturbed by the dangers of this technology. Augmentations help a lot of people, Doc. Handicapped, war vets. Yes, but at what cost? My own... friend had his life ruined by these so-called enhancements of yours. A man much like you who had no choice but to become augmented. Yet, once he was... Too much power can make you do terrible things, Mr. Jensen. I suggest you think long and hard on that. I'd like to hear more about your friend, Dr. Oh, Sandoval. Oh, right, talking. <laughs> what exactly did he do? Nothing. Was he injured in the Gulf? He went on a rampage in a shopping mall, if you must know hoping to be gunned down by the police, rather than face a lifetime battling augmentation addiction. He was addicted to augments? They don't talk about it in those corporate brochures of yours, do they? Neuropos independency, rejection psychosis, any number of physical and psychological ills have resulted from this technology, and yet, we rarely hear a word about them. I'm sure the literature is out there. No thanks to the throng of corporate lawyers attempting to stop it. Your friend, did he succeed? Did he suicide by cop? No. Bill Taggart talked him down. Um, how about you? Real shame what happened at your factory tonight. My condolences. Just doing my job here, sir. I'm sure you can appreciate that. Yeah. Uh-huh. <sighs> okay. Yeah. Boss, we need to talk. Is something wrong? I'm not sure. Did you set up a private access route to bypass the company firewall right before you hired me? Okay, <laughs> what? Pritchard said someone's been using it to access our system since before the first attack. The security measures he and I set in place never stopped them because we didn't even know the loophole existed. Oh. I see. Frank's fixed that, though, right? He has now. But he's wondering why you never mentioned it. Frank's paranoid, Adam. You know that. Can a busy man forget things once in a while? You streamed an awful lot of data through that portal, boss. Right before you brought me on board. Preacher may be paranoid, but I gotta admit, I'm wondering what was in it, too. Yeah, as an ex-cop, I guess you would. But the important thing is, you found the hole and plugged me. it. We're secure now. And the information you uncovered in that FEMA facility may actually help us track these guys. So let's just stay that focused really on what's too. important. Punching the mic. Oh yeah. Hmm. No. Lame. Probably that one. Defense. You went behind my back on this one, boss. With all due respect, you hired me to keep this place secure. 
But I can't do that if you are not 100% straight with me. Why are you getting so defensive? All I'm saying is we should be looking forward, Adam, not back. Not telling you about that portal left us open to attack, fine. But to be fair, it was your job to find our weaknesses and protect us from them. I need troops I can rely on, and I thought you were one of them. I hired you. I trusted you. When a lot of other people said I shouldn't. You know, Frank wanted me to hire a private military outfit like Bell Tower Associates. Maybe I should have. Okay, um... I should use this one just because it has backtraced in it, and everybody knows that consequences will never be the same. Um... No, that's that's lame. I'm not going to placate anybody. Adam. No. Are we done? Shut here? up. We'll refocus. Boss, I think we're getting sidetracked here. If you want me to win this war for you, I need to know how badly we've been compromised. I need to know what was in that data stream. Punch in the case mic our again. enemies accessed it. I see. I suppose him and I tried to do that. I just wonder if you're being a bit paranoid here. Fixating on details that aren't critical? I mean... Are you so shaken up by what happened six months ago by your failure to make a difference then that you can't roll with the punches anymore? Damn it, Adam! I brought you back in today because you have an immediate crisis to deal with. Questioning me about things that don't matter isn't going to bring Megan back. Probably that one so far. <laughs> this is the first one. <laughs> Uh, this one. With all due respect, sir, I am trying to do my job. The job you hired me to do. The job you even brought me back in for tonight. But it feels like you're getting in the way. Especially when you start bringing Megan into this. I'm not getting in the way, I just... Okay. Okay, look, I'm, I'm sorry. Maybe I'm the one overreacting. The data I streamed... Had nothing to do with Megan or her work. It was porn. It was just a routine fact-finding check that sprang from one of our discussions. The About kind of female check anatomy. I have to run quite often around here, believe it or not. In other words, porn. Now, if somebody backtraces the transmission and gets a look at it, I very much doubt they'll know what to do with it. Because it's porn. They'll Trust be too busy. Me. We're fine. Um. Cross two-way streets. I like that. No, I'm not gonna fucking trust him. Okay, boss. Um. Yeah. Adam. Shut up. Are we done here? You're on my face punching list now too. I would like nothing better than to trust you with this, boss. But trust is a two-way street, and the way you've handled this entire conversation so far makes me think that it's you who isn't trusting me. Why, boss? What is it you're so afraid to tell me? Adam, of course I trust you, son. Face punching. It's not that I'm afraid to tell you the truth. It's just that, honestly, I'm afraid you'll take it the wrong way. All right. Oh, he's gonna cry. Well, the truth is, I set up a confidential data channel for a private investigator, someone who can run covert background checks on people, potential new recruits. Punch them like again. Like you. You what? I had to, Adam. You were a liability, remember? You'd just been fired from SWAT. Now Megan believed in you, but I had to be sure. Look. I don't want this to come between us. I'll send the files to your computer. You can see for yourself what he dug up. 
But Adam, you'd better be sure. Punch the mic again. What do you mean? I mean, sometimes the past should stay in the past. Once you see that data, you can't unring the bell. When you're ready, come back and talk to me. We need to discuss our next move. Well, now I have two pra- Get out of my way. Two Praxis points, and we're gonna go downstairs. And we are going to check my computer. It had better be there. Elevator soft. That's like actually a pretty cool conversation. Granted, this guy is Mr. Gravely Voice, but their actor does manage to put in some pissed offness. It doesn't sound like random Space Marine Hua crap. He sounds pissed as a human being. Computator. Um... What is my computer password? Tour. Oh, okay. Mandrake, huh? Okay. There, I'm not a complete dumbass. <laughs> okay. Access granted. Alright. Me and my parents are birth parents. Margie Jensen, Caucasian, Arthur Jensen, Caucasian. Okay. Pass, medical files. Desert Storm. White Helix Labs, and a presence for my mom. Um, okay. 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 Yeah, I don't really care about that. So somebody in the police force doesn't like me. Good Athena time. tells me you spoke to Sarath. Did he happen to tell you why, why he made us look like so idiots? Much? I'm handling it. You can imagine how relieved I am to hear that. I'll tell you Stop what. Echoing. While you follow any lead Sarath spoon feeds you, I'm going to do what I should have done in the first place and backtrace that signal. That's your pride talking. Still, get back to me if you find something. You meant when? Pretty sure I did. <laughs> you know, boss, I don't mind saying some of us were worried Shut up. Mr. Seraph was calling you in too early. A panic move, you know? I hope my uh, audio didn't get all fucked up for some reason. It's done that before when I was running XP. Just randomly, it would just start echoing everything. It doesn't sound that bad. All right, boss. Here, this is for you. It's a corporate passport encoded with your biometrics. I've set up a false flag routing, which should get you to Henshaw Island without any problems. 
You're sending me to China? What about FEMA? FEMA's got nothing to do with this, trust me. We'll have better luck in China. How can you say that? I saw the bastard who killed Megan pulling his men out of that facility. I left one of those men dead in its underground storage bay. I know that, Adam. Frank was monitoring the whole thing. So I also know that before he died, that man gave you an address in China. I want you to check it out. That doesn't make any sense. Look, Adam. There's a reason this company's under attack. You think it has to do with the Typhoon, or with some other top-secret military project that I haven't told you about? The thought had crossed my mind. Yeah, well, it doesn't. The work Megan's team was doing before they were killed, it was redefining what it means to be human. This company, Seraph Industries, was about to lead mankind to its next stage in human development. Self-controlled evolution! Can't you see how scary that can be to some people? Sure. I also see how lucrative it can be for some others. It's never been about money for me, Adam. But you're right. There are people out there who don't exactly feel the same. Like who? I'm hoping you'll be able to find that answer for us in China. So get going. Farida's prepping the chopper. <sighs> you have your orders, Adam. Meet Farida at the helipad as soon as you're ready to... All right, all right, all right. Sorry, Adam, I can't help you right now. I'm trying to. Yeah, I won't talk to you anyway. Elevator soft. All right, someone go talk to Malik. Wait, what's that icon for? Is that for the um, mom mission, or is that for? Yeah. Anyway, helipad. Yay, yay. This building really lags. I don't know why. I wonder if she has anything useful to say. Hey, Jensen. Hey. The boss said you were on your way. Yep. You're gonna love Hangsha. You've been there? Used to live there. I spent three, maybe four years working in the upper city, and most of my nights having fun in the lower one. You ready to go? Yep. I thought I was. How long is this gonna take, Malik? You mean the flight or the fun afterward? Don't worry. We'll be there before you know it. Climb in. Alright, so unfinished side quests aren't gonna happen, so I'm probably not gonna find out what happened to Megan, I guess. So I'm gonna assume there's some police cover-up they know more about since they're trying to cover up my reputation, and yeah. Alright, Fraps, turning you off. And we're back. Flying over water. Jensen, you might want to get ready. The jewel of the Yangtze approaches. Son of a bitch. We're supposed to find answers in that. Hey, nice. why is the scum in half the space? Hang on, we're going in. The address you got off that Merc, Hangshaw Court Gardens? It's a bit of a walk from here in the Yuzhou district, but I figured it might be best not to drop you too close. In case Barrett only gave up the address, knowing I'd walk into another trap. It's the kind of thing I'd do to an enemy. You want my advice? Just find out who lives there and get out. Okay. So, whoa. Hello, lag. I think we're going to do a little bit of exploring. And, um...
yeah, a little bit of exploring, and then we'll call it a day. Ooh, goodies. Eh, stun gun, I don't have one. You can say anything funny? I can't punch you for saying that. What's that? Is it a store? What, I just get points for looking in here? Okay. Yaozu, Yaozu. Levels this. Level two. You know what? Screw it. We're going for hacking. I have two points. Yes, and um. What do I get for this? Um... More inventory. Okay. Yay, I have more room. And I can hack this. Okay, so... I'm here, I need to get... there. Okay, go... go. Go there, go there. Cool, I think we got this. Access granted. Haha. <laughs> Thank you, my precious darling tranquilizer rifle. I don't think I have any ammo for. No, I don't. I have one round. Maybe it'll be useful eventually. More loading. On the other hand, I guess I could just, wow, uh, sell it for goodies. Once I find somebody who will, um... actually buy stuff. Um, go lag. Wow, this place is uh, confusing to say the least. That's a far drop. Save. Walk. Oh. Ooh, that hurt. 